Over the past few years, I've done many things under the umbrella of TF2. I've been a TF2 player, I've been a TF2 server owner, I've been an SFM artist, I've been a TF2 YouTuber, I've been a TF2 YouTuber that quit YouTube to join Twitch and gave up after three months because he has no creative integrity. And now I'm just some sort of weird TF2 shitposting machine. And well, I've seen things. I've experienced a lot. I've seen more than most men could dream of. I've seen things you'd seen your nightmares. I've seen things you could never fathom. Today, I think it's time we talk about Tier 2's content creator problem. <laughs> Speaking of content, I've been working on some of my own recently. But not on YouTube or on Twitter. On a new platform. As much as I love the content I've been producing for you all, sometimes it's nice to just switch things up and provide something different for you all. Which is why I was so excited to hear about Amino's new story feature. Amino stories are kind of like shorter YouTube videos, with a shorter length allowing me to work on pieces with higher production quality. You can find my brand new story talking about some of the most ridiculously expensive items that exist in TF2 by clicking the link in the description, or downloading the app on your mobile device. Just by checking out the Amino stories, you'll be helping me and the channel out so much. So be sure to hit the bell and make sure you see everything I post on the platform. As I said earlier, I've done a lot of things on the umbrella of TF2, with me finding most of my success doing YouTube. And honestly, it's been amazing. I've met so many amazing people, I've been given so many interesting opportunities, and I've done so many amazing things. Things that I wouldn't have gotten without YouTube. Yet, it comes at a cost. When you're somewhat of a notable figure, ugh, in a community, especially when you're someone as controversial as me, you do attract unwanted attention. Sometimes this can be pretty harmless, with some relatively mean comments on your YouTube videos, and other times it can be death threats. But really? Honestly? You kind of just sign up for that thing at this point. It's in the fine print, you know? You're like, you want to upload content to YouTube and you want to make money? Cool! Enjoy the weekly threats against your life! But sadly, this is real, but it isn't exclusive to TF2. This is a much wider issue that affects nearly all celebrities. Ugh. Making content in TF2 is kind of weird and it's kind of different to most other communities. The general consensus amongst creators seems to be that when you make TF2 themed content, you do sign up for quick success. There aren't many creators around anymore, and people want content still. So as long as your content is of a somewhat decent quality and you provide it on a regular schedule, you're probably going to find success quite easily. But again, this comes at a cost. Yes, you'll find success easily, but what happens if you get burned out, or want to try something new? I mean, your followers didn't subscribe for X game, they subscribed for TF2. You're a TF2 YouTuber. Now, to stop me from seeming biased, I think it's best for us to split this situation into two different perspectives. The viewer's perspective, and the YouTuber's perspective. As someone that's been on both sides of this, I feel like I have a pretty good view of everything. As viewers, all we see is our favourite content going away. With a content creator moving away from a certain game or niche style of content they produced onto something new and something different, which can be upsetting and distressing. Because I've been there. Before I started doing YouTube, I was a massive Muselk fan. I loved his TF2 content. So like many, I was really upset when he moved on from TF2 to Overwatch. At the time, people would have this sadness that I felt turn into anger. People would lash out at Muselk and accuse him of following the trends and only being in it for the money. And, well, that's kind of ridiculous. We can speculate on the reason why Muselk stopped making TF2 videos, or why anyone stopped making TF2 videos, or why anyone did anything forever. But who is that helping? It achieves literally nothing. I can understand why people may be disappointed or angry that X creator has moved on to Y game, but we shouldn't focus on being angry, we should just be grateful that the content creator produced their content and it's still around for us to cherish for years to come. For content creators, 
things are a little bit more complex. There are many reasons people might not want to play or make videos about TF2 anymore, but the leading reason is burnout. Now, burnout happens in pretty much everything. You do something you enjoy for so long, that after a while, it gets old. But burnout is a massive issue amongst TF2 creators. But why? Well, because TF2 doesn't get updated. It's tough religiously pumping out content for any kind of game. But when that game gets a major update as rarely as TF2, little to no communication from the developer, it gets really tough to keep up. The easiest way to prevent burnout is to take breaks, and to keep things dynamic. Maybe take a few weeks off from YouTube, or upload something from a different game. Jokes aside, almost every time I see one of my friends upload something that isn't TF2, their comment sections are filled with, well, less than savoury comments. And well, it sucks. Yes, I know it's a vocal minority posting these comments, hashtag not all TF2 players, but they really don't help. In fact, they push content creators further away. Why would they want to produce content in a community that says awful stuff like this? I understand that TF2 is in a weird place right now, that we're kind of floating around in limbo with no real confirmation of another update coming anytime soon, and I understand it could be distressing to see TF2 creators leaving the game. At this point, they're the lifeblood of this community and of this game's survival, so I can understand where the distress and anger is coming from, but I think we need to recognise that this could be channelled into something more productive. Shouting at a TF2 YouTuber for making a Fortnite video or leaving due to burnout isn't going to help anyone. You know what will help people? Making your own content. Or supporting smaller creators. If you don't like that the content creation side of TF2 is on the decline, why don't you change that? Be the change you want to see. All I'm trying to say is, well, be nice. We're all in the same boat here. There's a lot of uncertainty and worry and fear. But well, we're all in this together. <laughs>